Oh, this is weird. I'm gonna have to get used to this. <laughs> the vertical screen! Uh, Alright, so you guys voted for Professor Layton, so we're gonna play our first ever DS game on the channel. Except, I'm playing it on mobile. Except, blah, 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 I'm playing it on computer. <laughs> so I'm playing a DS game via its mobile port on the computer. Because, from my from my understanding, I, I looked around, and this seems to be a better version of the game. Like, it has, re, it has like, remastered and redrawn graphics, because the DS was very low resolution. Uh, which will help. It means what little screen space we do get will have better detail in it than it would have otherwise. Uh, and from- I've- I don't fully understand it, but I've heard that it has, like, some kind of features or functionality that might be backported from future versions of the, uh, future sequels or something. So there might be some quality of life updates and so on, but generally speaking, it just sounded like this was, like, more or less the definitive edition, despite the usual anti-mobile game biases, and- which I share. But, at the same time, this is a thing being ported to mobile as opposed to a thing made for mobile, which is a market that has problems. Although the AAA, everything has problems these days, even on consoles and PC, so that's not even a useful distinction anymore. But if you're wondering how I'm doing this, I am currently playing this game in Bluestacks, which is this, uh, this desktop program that lets you play uh, phone games for Android. And so I used this previously, because it's not our first phone game, I used this previously to play the later The Room sequels, because they weren't out on PC yet, and there's demand to like, go play them now! So I did, in their mobile version. So that's my only time I've used Bluestacks before, was, was whenever the hell that happened years ago. But here we are for this. Doop -doo. Is my name even going to come up in the game? I don't even know. Why not? So I have played Professor Layton exactly once before, which is I tried my friend's copy on DS, and I was in college, so I just played it a little bit between classes, and I got to the first puzzle with the roads, and solved that, and was like, huh. And then closed my DS and went to class and then never played it again. So this game permanently resides in my memory as the video game equivalent. And this is not a charitable thought, but it exists in my brain as the video game equivalent of like those like those preschool carpets that have like a suburban area and a lot of green and so on. It's like, look, look at this little town like rugs. Like, that's my mental image of Professor Layton. I don't know what the story is. I don't know what the gameplay, like, largely is or where these games go. I just know eventually there is somehow a Phoenix Wright crossover, which... <laughs> I don't know what to do with that information either. Did you do record here? I, I did a test launch, which is dead to me now. There we go. Default settings are for video playback and portrait orientation. Okay, I'm gonna have to give up. <laughs> I've looped a few times trying to improve the cutscene situation, because ideally I would switch it into landscape mode so we can get the full resolution of it, but that means I'd have to watch every cutscene sideways because I can't rotate from my perspective unless I want to crank my neck every single time. But Bluestacks does have a rotate button, but it rotates in the opposite direction that Layton does. So that makes me, that, that gives us a nice full screen image that is upside down. So while yeah, that would be the ideal experience for you guys, because I could flip it in editing, it means that the, the video, the movies, like all the cutscenes would be like unwatchable to me because they're all upside down. So I'm just gonna make it have to just be a little window in the middle of the screen uh, that is akin to this window size already, and then I'll just grow it in editing when I can, which means it'll be lower resolution but stretched, and that's probably the best that we're gonna get. There's just the moment it's not a PC game, everything gets harder. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. 
I've, I've looped through this menu a few times. I really wish there was a setting that made it default, but then even that, yeah, that still wouldn't have fixed it for me. Everything packed. Oh, is that all you're bringing with you? <laughs> A gentleman must try to travel light where possible, Luke. Uh. Oh, and a gentleman's assistant must be prepared for any eventuality. <laughs> well, you're certainly that. So then, let's get going. Good save, Luke. He, he, he'll never see through your ruse. The things we saw that day in the village became a secret we would have to keep from everyone for the rest of our lives. Because, you see... I'm admittedly curious. That was a relatively intense opening line for the for the game. When I this game this reads as such a, a very young kids game, so it's like a surprisingly intense like we saw several murders that day. Augustus Reinhold passed away. Shortly after his death, his will was disclosed. The contents of it were fascinating, to say the least. The Reinhold family treasure, the golden apple, is hidden somewhere within this village. To whomever successfully locates this treasure, I offer the whole of my estate. Naturally, those who attended the reading of the will immediately set out in search of the golden apple. But in the end, everybody came back empty-handed. It turns out that no one had even heard of such a treasure existing, until it's mentioned in the will. Wow, that's some puzzle, all right. Quite. Augustus Reinhold staked his entire fortune just to create one more puzzle before his death. Oh, Luke, you know as well as I do that I am no detective. 
Augustus Reinhold's wife, Lady Dahlia, has asked me to investigate the situation. It seems she came across my name by chance when reading an article about me in the papers. And you immediately decided to take her up on her request, huh? Oh, well, look, a true gentleman never refuses the request of a beautiful lady. If you say so, Professor. We should be nearing the town by now. Look at the map in the envelope and help me with directions. You got it! What in the... What's this? It's a map, Luke. If you've never seen a map before... <laughs> he said this, that something unusual is going to be going on. I'm calling right now. He died choking on the golden apple. Boom. Gotcha. <laughs> Puzzle number one. Ooh, that's three digits right there. That's we're all in. All right, where's the town? We're ten pickerets, pick pickerets, pick it. Is this a real thing? Pickerets are essentially points you receive in exchange for completing puzzles. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, all the results about pickerets are. Professor Layton, so I don't think this is a real-life currency. <laughs> Just I was curious. My village is on a road that leads to no other village. I look forward to seeing you there. Doesn't seem like a very helpful road then, does it, huh? This is a road to nowhere. Great. A plus design. How did I, how are we getting to it? Seems like the road is attached to some village because I just started the game in one. <laughs> or the cutscene started in one. A different one. Draw a circle around the right village and then touch submit. So this is what I was talking about when I said that I remember there being a puzzle that sure as hell looked like a, uh... The children's thingy. Alright, this one's connected to that one, that one's connected to that one, she was just that one. Uh, submit. I've got all the picarets! Picarets? And, and post your favorite pronunciation in the comments. A place where... You can famously, uh, clearly denote pronunciation. In other words, that's correct. The only town that isn't connected by the roads. I already did. I already did. I solved it. I know. There we go. Now we should be able to make our way to the village. Right, you are. We should see it on the horizon any moment now. Do you mean to say you already figured out the town's location? <laughs> I'm afraid I couldn't help myself. A basic puzzle like that is easy enough to solve for the guys. Anyhow, you'd best gather your things, Luke. We've arrived. Uh. Or, oh, wait. Oh, you worried me. <laughs> Normal. <laughs> yeah, that, that transition made me think that the game had restarted or something. Alright, so you can see the clear... Uh, split between the two screens that were originally on the DS. I'm kind of just now registering that the DS screens are different shapes. I spent almost no time with one. I really just don't like using handhelds. There's never like a comfortable position for me. And my hands are very large, so it's never not comfortable. Uh, but here I can like my sense of, of proportion, like I'm immediately like that black bar is not in the middle. So that's interesting. 
Interesting. No, oh, right, I just had to click on the actual screen. It appears that this drawbridge is the entrance to the village. And we're stuck on the outside. What should we do, Professor? Oh, look over there. There's a man standing on the other side of the river. Maybe he can help us. He's very short, but then he floats for some reason in the middle of the screen. So he fits anywhere. Anyway, anyway. Let's see. Is this settings? Journal, mysteries, puzzle index, save. Time played. There's settings. Volume. There we go. I just need... Ooh. I wish that the sound effects and voices were separate, because the voice... I originally turned it down because of how kind of strong the chime noises are, but it made the voices really quiet. I'm a bit mixed. The late Baron Reinhold hid this item in the Saint Mystere in in Saint Mystere just before dying, and has promised the whole of this fortune to the one who finds it. But no one knows where the golden apple is. That mm, that's a really loud beep every single time. Hmm. Turn you back down. Okay. A most fascinating letter this found its way to me the other day. It came for me from one Lady Dahlia, widow to Baron Augustus Reinhold. Her letter details how an unusual object, known only as the Golden Apple, is to decide how her late husband's fortune is split up. The entire matter sounds terribly interesting, and I'm, I've arranged for Luke to accompany me on a visit to St. Mystere. Mystery? This is St. Mystery? <laughs> I wouldn't expect to pronounce the E at the end, but maybe. Uh, the site of the whole incident. You lied to me! You, you, you touch an entry to read it. It's not what. It's not the contents of the letter. That's him thinking about the letter. Zero out of ten. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, that's that's the quit the whole game button. Gotcha. It's a really loud beep every time. All right. Good day, sir. We'd very much like to gain access to the village. Could you please drop the bridge for us? Do I look like some, uh, like the sort to go drop in the bridge for a bunch of fancy looking outsiders? Hmm. You got a lot of nerve. We received a letter of invitation from Lady Dahlia. I don't suppose that changes things, does it? From Lady Dahlia. Well, that I'd, I'd sure like to lower the bridge for you, Mr. Fancy Pants. But the engine's busted, and I can only move this blasted bridge with the hand crank. Hmm. There's all these infernal slots I could put the crank in, but I got no clue which one to use. Hmm. Hmm. So, so smart guy. You got any idea which one's the right one? Oh, dang, Picard Picarat's inflation is already in, in take underway, uh... Aren't those the same shapes as each other, but just rotated? There's no way to lower the bridge and get across without inserting the crank into a correct slot. I find the slot that the crank has shown up okay, um... Oh, one's on the corner and one's on the edge. That's what's going on. So it's this one. There we go. It's like the it's like the exact opposite of an objection somehow. That'll do it. Hold on a second. I'll let her down. Her I'm gonna say it again, I don't just feel right about letting outsiders into Saint Mystere. But if you're Lady Dahlia's guest, I guess I'd better. At least give her my regards, you hear? Sure thing, Potato Man.
Yes, we finally arrived in Satan Mysteria. I'm so excited. I wonder what mysteries await us here. Ha 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 ha. Well. <laughs> that was so fucking awkward to do it that way. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> composure lost. <laughs> well, Luke, we'll, <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Just be careful not to let your excitement cloud your ability to analyze your surroundings. He just looks like he never makes expressions or changes his tone of voice or anything. <laughs> that's just the way, that, that's the vibe he gives. I say, Luke, this is a perfect time to explain how to move about during our investigation. A normal thing to do in human conversation. Try touching the shoe icon in the lower right corner of the screen. After you do this, a set of arrows will appear on screen. Tap one to head in that direction. You click on this shoe and then you go your way. The end. Hey now, don't run off yet. I've got something you should hear first. Okay. <laughs> what a dandy set of fellows you two are. Must be new to Saint Mystere, eh? The name's Stash and Scarf and... Stash and Scarf? Like... Makes it sound like you, like... You, you stash things and then you eat them. But also stash could be... Mustache? I've got some advice for you. Go tap that barrel back there. Don't ask questions, just do it. Uh God. Why? Why does this barrel throw things at me? <laughs> Felt good, didn't it? Around these parts, that's what we call a hint coin. But you find yourself against a doozy of a puzzle, you'll want a, a hint. Trust me on this one, fellows. No, because then my audience just gets mad at me. I gotta do it all in my brain. And if it's just those times when you'll want to use a hint coin to purchase a hint. Bet you think puzzles will be a breeze now, eh? Think again. What do you think, this is a kid's game? There's a limited number of hint coins in this world. So don't go wasting coins on any old riddles. Because if you do, when you come across a real stumper, you'll be sorry. Real sorry. Mind you, hint coins won't always be stuffed inside barrels. Check any object that seems suspicious. I've got something special now, just for you. More stash and scarf wisdom to, st to share. Investigate the sign on that building over there. Go on. This one? This one. A puzzle solving charm. What, just to skip entirely? Heh <laughs> heh. That's a puzzle solving charm we just found. Come on. We all know you were expecting something original from this remake. Oh. I guess this is new. Gives the new version a certain charm, don't you think? Now you're probably thinking these charms sound like fun, aren't you? No. But take care. <laughs> you were expecting me to say something like that, weren't you? Don't worry, I'm just pulling your leg this time. Charms are safe. Hmm? How do you use charms? Well, now. That would be telling. They do have use, believe you and me, but it's up to you to find it. So until we meet again. Okay, well, I don't want to solve the puzzle with the charm. It seems like you just suggested that it skips the puzzle, and I'm like, mm. Uh, people get mad, even more mad for that. <laughs> oh, hello. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome to St. Mystere, where our local export is the puzzle. Oh, before I forget. You should know that every time you solve a puzzle, you earn a set of picarettes. Yeah. The more picarettes a puzzle is worth, the tougher the puzzle will be. They say lovely things happen when you gather enough picarettes. Imagine that, of a reward for solving puzzles. You mean you don't just do it for fun? I think I just think about like the, the witness. It's like, it technically unlocks things when you solve puzzles, but I just sit there and do all of them. And so the reward is like a, almost an afterthought. For practice, try this little riddle that your hat reminded me of. Think hard and good before you answer. Number three, strange hats. 
These four top hats are all the same height, but the length of each brim is different. In other words, the hats are equally tall but vary in width. One of these four hats has a brim and height that is the same length. Which hat is it? Oh. Huh. I'm leaning towards C? I think C is too long, despite looking maybe too short. it up a card a little bit. It's, I think it's A. D seemed like a trap. D looks like it's immediately correct, but it looks like A is correct. That should do it. <clears throat> Did I do the thing? Hell yeah! Thank you, index card. That's a that's an optical illusion right there. That's right, there's a very famous optical illusion. An optical illusion is a visual phenomenon where your eyes perceive things differently than they actually are. There are dozens of known optical illusions. What's the world coming to when you can't even trust your own eyes? Um, that's, I mean, that's flat earth, that's flat earth or approach, honestly. Oh, bravo. I think you've got the hang of this. If you try your options one by one, you'll eventually find the answer. However, you'll also encounter lots of puzzles that can't be solved by simply trying all the answers. If, you, if, your answer, if you answer incorrectly, the picker rats you earn from a puzzle decrease. Tough stuff, huh? It goes to show you how important it is to think for yourself and find the answer on your own. Well then, best of luck to you. I'll be rooting for you too. There we go. On one hand, I used a tool, but on the other hand, the premise of the, of the puzzle was that you can't... Uh, trust your actual eyes, so maybe using a tool was what makes me so clever. It's amazing, Professor. St. Mysterio appears to be surrounded by thick forests on all sides. Indeed it does. But enough talk of trees. We should head over to meet Lady Dahlia now. But completionism... Oops. I wonder if that inn gets many guests out here from the country. I go in. Don't you think we should head to Reinhold Manor, Professor? Okay, let's, let's do that. Where is it? Oh, look at the top window. I've been thinking, Professor. Shouldn't we be uh, keeping a record of our investigation? You brought up a very good point, Luke. Let me explain how to go about saving your game. You click save. Gonna, just gonna go ahead and spare us this entire section. There's items also. That's where we're going. An arrow marks our path on the map. So all we need is to is to head in the correct direction. Lead the way, Professor! It would have taken minutes to read that, but instead we didn't do that. So hooray. Chapter 1, Reinhold Manor awaits. Make your way to the Reinhold Manor on the east side of town. Save. You're not going to make me save via the way you just taught me to, so to check that I can do it? Alright. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Percy, St. Mysterious of unofficial rider in residence. My whole manner, you ask? Head up that road to the right. It's immense, so you'll know it when you see it. But before you go, why not try your hand at this puzzle, I thought up. See if you can figure out which house is mine from the instructions I gave you. I'll even sweeten the deal for you. If you manage to solve this puzzle, I'll tell you about this village. So how about it? You try, won't you? After all, a rider is nothing without an audience. 
Well, let's go then. Where is my house? Can you find my house? Uh, get out. Uh, go out the front door of my place and turn left. At the first intersection you come across, take a right. Then a right again at the following intersection, and you come face to face with the morning sun. Circle my house. Okay. So these are entrances. We're not going to literally be face to face with the morning sun and that we're probably not going to see it. I mean, it's not going to be, it's the sun, it's in space. So it's, uh, I think they just mean that we need to be facing east. At the end. So. Do 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 do. So let's go backwards. This is east. Turn right again. So turn left. If you're east and you turn left, then you're facing north. Turn left again. You're facing west. Turn north. So it's the one with the north exit. Do 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 do, and that's. You probably could have also processes of eliminated that it's the only one with no repeating direction. There's three facing east, one face, two facing south, one facing west. One fa okay, so it was a toss up between west and north if I did that method. But yeah, it's this one I believe. There we go. Correct. Boom. Drop the mic. The mic dies instantly. I. I uh, yeah, this is a problem we're working backwards get the gets the job done fastest. It takes far too long to check each house individually. Well I feel affirmed, I guess. The number of times I'm told I got an un, uh, unintended solution. I guess I'll never have to think about that because this game just tells you how to how you were supposed to solve everything. Impressive. I thought I had set out set, set out quite the puzzle, but you made short work of it. Now the goss now for the gossip I promised you that Reinhold family owns all the land this village is built upon. I hear they own all the buildings too. Guess you could say this town sort of belongs to the Reinholds. Well, I'll be on my way now. But rest assured that next time we meet, I'll have a harder puzzle for you. Okay. Meet me now. I'm dreaming up new uh, puzzles right now. You can't force the creative process, you know. Give me your puzzles. Surrender them to me. 